Look what arrived! Volvo EX30 Cross Country is here. Let's look. Is there anything special? 20 inch wheels. What was the dimension? I forgot. 245 40. 245 40. It's the same on all four. That's good. Still plastic caps here. Is it really that much difference? Difference to the normal and to the cross country? So it's just two centimeters taller. Can you open this? Can you open? Ah, here. It's been a while since I drove an EX30. Already checked if there's any scratches. I don't see anything. All is good. Doesn't look like there's more room for in the rear seats. <laughs> but maybe height-wise. Maybe there's more there. Oh. I'm gonna now do all of my settings, connect the car to the Volvo account, to the app and everything. Edit all my stuff, all my settings, it's not too much. I've connected my phone, installed Spotify, YouTube, YouTube Music, Spotify for whatever reason, just right now doesn't work on my phone, so I cannot log in. But the rest is logged in, I have the app in there. Everything is fine. Let's drive home and tomorrow we're gonna test the car a bit. Hey everyone, Friday, 21st of November. I'm here with the Volvo EX30 cross country. I'm going shopping. I um, have to get something for Cindy from Rosmond. That's shampoo and stuff like this. Um, and I'm charging uh, the Volvo here because Volvo is paying for charging. I have to fill out the form when I'm done and send it to them. And the battery was cold. The car was standing at minus two degrees for two days. And I navigated here. It preheated, but it was already fi only five minutes. I floored it a few times, but still I'm at 36%. I'm only getting 28 kilowatt. 29. I think that's new that you can see the power that you're charging in here. It should take four hours from 37 to 100%. Oh my god. Can you see it here, the power? No. You say that you have charged seven kilometers of range in three minutes. The power is only up here. But I'm gonna go shopping and see because I wanted to do the power drive. Uh, not the power drive, the acceleration again since uh, when i did the acceleration two days ago i only got 5.3 seconds and this car should do 3 3.7 and i saw that the power is not full uh, so it didn't get have a had a power limit and i don't know if it was the battery temperature or that i was at 65 66 percent state of charge but i don't think i will charge here full that's way too long 29 kilowatt at a 300 kilowatt charger. Oh my god. But let's go shopping and see if it gets any better. Can I see the power in the app? I can see it here. It says 32.4. And can I see it in the car. In the EMBW app, I can see it. And here, I only see state of charge and time left not the power okay back I was shopping I even walked somewhere so the car could charge a bit longer and after 52 minutes we are at 73 percent and we're still charging with 31 kilowatt uh, and it still st says 46 minutes to 100 percent in the winter this car is not amazing to charge oh my god Good morning vlog people, I'm in the Volvo EX30 cross country doing my range test and it's freezing, it was minus 8 this morning, the car says minus 4, it feels way colder. I charged at the supercharger, um, I arrived there with 90 or 91% at home when the car was plugged in, I preheated with the app and it lost state of charge, it didn't use the charger which is sad. And when I navigated to the Tesla supercharger, it preheated the battery a bit. It wasn't long. Um, and I only got 
12 and then only 6 kilowatt. That's why I only charged to 93% and then we left. My consumption is really, really high. It's 33, uh, 330 watt hours per kilometer. My, uh, 333 even, it gets higher. So, wow. <laughs> it thinks I arrived back at, I only went one way, I'm not doing any detour, I'm just go, I went to Regensburg where I always turn around and I'm going back and it said 19% when I start, when I uh, navigated the first time and now it al already says 15%. I was 50 minutes, minutes away from the charger and it said uh, when I navigated to it I'm preheating the battery. Oh my! I'm done with the first range test, only got 185 kilometers and even had to slow down because I arrived here with 3%. The car, when I navigated the charger, said 19% and went down, 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 down. Consumption is extremely high today with minus 8 in the morning, now minus 5. The heat had to do a lot. I have to turn off the stupid automatic locking of the car because every time I go away it locks and then when I go, go here it doesn't unlock because I'm still so close and, you, and then when you touch the passenger side door it doesn't do anything you have to go to the driver side door and then it unlocks it's so annoying really annoying so I have to turn it off that I lock myself uh, when I plugged in at 3% I got 20 kilowatt at 8% I got 60 kilowatt but now at 15% I get 154 kilowatt I'm already at 20% it still says 50 minutes to 80% we'll see Ugh. I turned around with the 110 kilometers an hour test and I will drive the exact same route, 167 kilometers. It thinks I will arrive with 14, 15%. Consumption is still high. It's way quieter now with 110, that's nice. Uh, and it's awesome that with a small battery and also high consumption of this car, the range tests are done. In no time. Usually when I drive my 130 test in the summer, I do two and a half hours driving with 130 and then two and a half hours with the 110 and then charging in between and then driving to Ionity in Passau. And today I was Tesla, which is, it saves me half an hour there and back. And then this car just, the first test was not even one and a half hours and this test will be well still 40 minutes to go and we've driven so far not even an hour so also one and a half hours <laughs> yes that's why afterwards i will be doing the power drive test i go to Dekendorf and drive with the top speed 180 but before that i have to charge 200 uh, to 80 percent so i can get there drive a bit and still get home Done with my power drive. Car lost uh, a lot of state of charge. I didn't drive, I only drove I think 33 kilometers with full power and uh, I had to go back and I would arrive at home with 17% and I was eh, let's charge. So I'm charging here and at 25% I get 152 kilowatt. You can see that now, that's new, isn't it? I think you couldn't do that. To 100% will take an hour, which is also okay from 25%. It's not amazing, but you know, if, yeah, I don't know. But I, I looked from three to 80%, it took 35 minutes. From nine to 80%, it took me 30 minutes. So that's okay. So if you plug in under, 10% that's not good uh, you only get 20 and then 60 kilowatt it's not amazing you need the, the power comes at 15% and then it goes under 100 kilowatt already at 50% so it's not amazing charging curve but it's also a small uh, small battery so I charge a bit 
till it goes maybe to 50%, something like this. And then Sunday is over. I don't know if I do a live stream today. I haven't done a live stream in three weeks or so. Nobody's ever there, like 20 people. And then over the, the, the next few days, maybe 700 people watch the video. And I don't have anything special to say. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm not interesting. Um, if something big happens, I'm sure I'm gonna make a live stream. So, no microphone, sorry. Uh, now it's even worse. I charged to 49%, suddenly the power dropped, charging power to 13 kilowatt, from 111 down to 13. And now, if I floor the car, you can see the power here, I get barely any power. This is flooring it. And you can see how far it can go, the white bar. So up the hill, I could barely drive 100. So the battery is now hot. We are at minus three degrees and the car cannot cool the battery really good. That's, sorry, that's weak.